What's up guys, it's King Daddy D-Mac and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Unleashed. Oh yeah, baby, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's again my first time playing for the week. It's, I think it's Tuesday night. It's actually really Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Pretty late, pretty late. First time on for the week. And man, oh man, one thing I'm noticing, look at those stars jump. Look at it. See it? It's going, er, er, just like that. Something's going on. I don't know if it's something on the server or if it's like Cube Toast is having issues right now or getting DDoSed. I don't know, but hopefully it won't give us any problems recording today. Anywho, we are going to get back to work on our Power Flower. Let's get all of our settings all set up. And... As I talked about last time, we're going to start to get into Tinker's Constructs today and see how things work out. We've got all this. I left it on for a good bit of time and got tons of armor. I'm noticing we're getting a lot more gold than iron, which is okay. We need both gold and iron. And I'm voiding everything else out, all the chain mail and the leather armor. This is, of course, from the Skelly Drops. But we're going to try and figure out a way how to convert these back into like gold ingots and iron ingots. So I think Tinkers should do the trick. Trick. We are going to run back to our base. And yeah, 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 down here. I did a little bit of prepping work. Got all the different things that we need. Actually, I should be looking at the books. Let's take a quick run back. Quick run back. Do I have it over here? Where'd I put them? All my Tinkers books. I've got this one chest right here it is. Right here that has all of our Tinker's stuff that we pretty much have owned to our name. Of course, when you get into Tinker's Construct, you get this first little book, blah, blah, blah. It tells you all about the mods. Kind, It's nice, but it's kind of annoying at the same time because most of the stuff doesn't show up in NEI, the recipes. But today we're going to have to get ourselves sand, gravel, and clay, which is going to make grout. Then the grout you're going to cook up in the furnace. And that is going to make this seared, um, is it called seared brick? Yeah, seared brick. Then you take the seared brick and make it into seared bricks, plural. Then we need to make a smeltery. We need, this is how to get all the other books. And once that one's done, where's the other books? All right, so that's the first book. We're going to skip past the second one and go straight to the third one. And today we are going to make ourselves a smeltery. So let me get making on all those nice, nice things. We'll leave that book with us in case we need it. So I've got, once again, heading back, I have got all these stuff set up to auto craft. All pretty simple things. But let's go ahead and do that. So for every, let's look back at the book. For every smeltery, we need one smeltery controller, one seared tank, nine seared bricks, and then any other combination of seared bricks, um, faucets, tanks, drains, casting table, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make auto craft all that stuff and we'll meet back at the power flower. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. I think I should got everything I should need, at least for now. Got a bunch of seared bricks made up and let's see. We already have a seared tank, smeltery control, all this good stuff. So let's grab all this. And do I have a crafting table on me? Yeah. All right. I'm thinking that we're going to do the smelteries in these, or at least the one today, in this really tall part of the flower. Because smelteries can be super duper tall. So in case we need to add to, I don't know how big we're going to have to make it. But I think we'll do it in this back area right here. Now for a smeltery. I want to have it up a couple of blocks. So let's see. It's going to be something like that, except I want to give it, whoa, give us plenty of walking space underneath. So let's do it up. Pra, uh, yeah, I think we'll get, we'll give three blocks walk space. I know I didn't have to lay out all these, but that's okay. That's okay. So let's knock these out. And that's going to be kind of the bottom base part. Does that seem good? Does that seem right? 
I think so. So that's good. Then we're going to go around it. Like so. And these are going to be the walls. So like that. Like that. And like that. And then I can knock out these corner pieces. Alright, cool. So we're almost there. Almost done. Let's see. Grab our smeltery control. I'm not sure if this has to be. I think it can be anywhere on here. For now, we'll put it right here. All right. And we need our basin for the lava. Go right there. Ooh, did it already have... Does it hold lava in there? I just don't know. I guess it does. All right. So we have that. And let's see. Let's do a smeltery drain. All right there boom and it's working it's on and now i can right click on it and it's multi-block structure so that's cool and it's showing us we have nine spots and that is lining up with all these so pretty cool so let's try this out let's grab out some isran or no let's let's try out some gold so let's grab a golden chest plate let's grab a bunch of pieces All right, so that's good. Let's take these pieces. And it's already got some lava, it looks like, in there. Let's shift all these in. All right, and we can see it's starting to smelt them up. Now, this is interesting. Look at this. I'm noticing it's smelting up only the ones that are full, not the partial, the ones that have damage on them. That's not great. We're going to have to figure something out. I'll give it a little bit of time and see. Oop, excuse me. Let's give this a... Oh my goodness, stop setting stuff on there. I'm going to give this a little bit of time. Let's see, when we look in... Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. Looks like golden blocks in there. So let me let let this uh, have a couple minutes and I'll see you right back. All right, so it's been about five minutes and yeah, it's not smelting up any of these partial ones. It doesn't seem like. So let's take those out. And it's saying right here we got 20 gold ingots. So that's cool. Now how do we get this out? I think you take this little faucet guy and you throw it right on, right on this. Uh, oh, that's ender pouch. Right on the drain, smelter drain. And then you can either take a casting table or you can just take a casting basin. The basins, I believe, when you right click on it, boom, it should make a gold block. So that's neat. So let's see, how are you doing? It's going down 14, 13, 12. I'll just show you this once. Give it a second and let it cool down and boom, gold block. Oh, is it gold block? <laughs> That's the server jumping. Everything's taking longer. Pretty neat. So let's see, do we have enough to make another one? We should, we should. We'll have a little bit left over. So we're going to have to find a way to automate this, to fill it in. And I'm not really liking the positioning. I'm actually, it's, it's difficult because these flowers, they're 10 by 10, 8 by 8 space for me to build in. So that's an even number on the flower, but then it's an odd number on the smeltery, but we might be able to fit in two smelteries, one in the corner here, maybe even more than four, one in the corner there. So I think I'm going to move it around, switch it up. All right, get another gold block and how many? Two. All right, so if you just have single ingots, how you'd get around this, let's get some more gold armor. Let's see, is it this one? So we got to have full gold stuff. What's a full? Okay, so we have a full gold boot, full gold boot. And did we check if it did enchanted stuff also? Because that could be kind of important. And what else do we need? Oh, we need, okay, we have the casting table. And we need an ingot. So let's take a gold ingot. 
I know a lot of you knew already how Tinkers works, but I'm kind of experimenting, having fun. I've never done this mod before, so I'm a bit of a noob about it. I'm thinking it's pretty cool so far. So if we put our casting table down, and then if we right click an ingot on it, I think you can do any type you want. And then if we right click there, it's going to fill in with gold. All right, give it a second, <laughs> jumpiness. All right, then we can double right click and then we'll get our cast back. So then if we set that back down, it should, oh, we're all out, we're all out. Let's throw in, let's see if it does the enchanted boots. Yeah, it looks like it's doing the enchanted, so that's good at least. That's one less thing that we'll have to worry about. So I'll let that smelt up. All right, we're just about finished. This is taking forever with the tick rate of the server being off today. I don't know what is going on. We're trying to reset, but couldn't even get a hold of cube host. Of course, it doesn't help when you're doing it at three in the morning. Come on. Hurry up, guy. All right, there we go. So now we have four. Ooh, that gave four. That's pretty good. The amount of ingots that you actually get back for that. So now that we have our little mold done, just right click. I think we just, yep, there we go. Right click on, and then you can get the single ingots like that. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to move this over. I know it's kind of a waste. I should have just done that to begin with. Oh, give me back my VJJ. Can I do a VJJ cast? Oh my goodness. Let's try this. Oh, I hope I don't lose it. Nope. That's neat, you could even set that in there. Um, let's see, we don't, we want to break that. Let's put back the basin so we can get the rest of this out. And I'm gonna try and set it up in the corner there. So, I'll just see you back once I get that done. Ooh, this is something kind of curious. So I couldn't fit two separate smelteries in here, but it looks like I can fit them if they can share walls. Sometimes you can get multi-block structures to do this. So I don't know what's going to happen, but this would be pretty cool if this will work. So I made up a two smeltery controllers. I just want to see something. If I set this down by itself, all right, you're able to see in it. If I set this down here, it's probably going to do that same thing. All right. So let's put the tank down next to it. All right, so that works. Now, if I put another smeltery control here, what's going to happen? I can see it there. But it's not showing me that tank option. So if I do that, is it going to is it going to work? Oh, I was hoping it would work. No. All right, so we got all the gold armor. That's good. And I was just thinking, you know what? A precision bus might um might not put in the enchanted. I think I'm going to have to test that. So we'll try with the precision, precision first. I'm just worried about it putting in stuff we don't want. So precision export bus. Boom. Let's set this to do gold helmet. Gold, all the gold stuff. Let's take that out. And we're going to run this wire down. So let's see, where do I have more of that stuff? Come here, come here. There we go. So this is going to run right down here. I can't see. I think that connects it. All right, like that. And then right there. Is that clear? Yeah. So for now, I'll fix the wiring later. And I'm really happy about that you can make facades out of this red rose. So this is going to be great for hiding away all of our things. All right, and then I can pull it from right over here. Oh, that's it. So what's going on? Is it sending anything in yet? We may not. Oh, we don't have any full gold ones. All right. So let's throw. I guess we can leave that for now. Let's throw these gold things in. Let's see if that works out. If it's going to start cooking it up. Awesome. So that's working. We should probably make this taller so we can fit in more items. So get that inventory bigger. All right. 
right. See how this looks. All right, so that should be more than enough room, I do believe. So that's working. Now, how do we get the items back out? Let's do that. Let's see. Don't want to have to hit that faucet every time. One thing that I saw a lot of people doing on this server. Let's see. They were using this one particular type of clock. Here we go. A redstone clock to get the stuff out. So let's see what that looks like. And then I'll show you another way that Hypno informs me, which was pretty helpful. Inform me about. Let's see where should we hide this here? We'll just do it over here for now. So let's go like that. Let's get out the smelter drain. I'm curious if we'll work this direction. Let's get our faucet there and let's get our basin. Casting basin. Alright, so one thing, hopefully we'll just let's see if it works from this corner. People are taking a redstone clock. And putting it there. And, oh, nuts! Oh, no, it works. They're doing it like this. And here's another neat block. It shows block updates. And this is basically what they're doing. But it's kind of annoying because you're getting a lot of block updates going on at the base. So instead of using that block... And I didn't know you could mix and match stuff. I really didn't think you could for this mod, but apparently Liquidox work, which ends up being perfect. So let's get the rest of this gold out. Just so we don't waste it. Hurry up. All right. Oh, come on, server. <laughs> All right. So we got that out. Let's knock that. Let's knock out the basin thing. We can just do a liquiduct out of it, and it's got to go two spots. So let's go there, and let's throw our basin right here. Boom. And then we need a lever lever right there. Switch it over. Okay, and that's why you have to have two, so you can have it go out. Otherwise, it would go out on both sides anyway. You know what I'm talking about. So let's flip it on, and boom. Constant gold, no block updates. Freaking perfect. Then we can just have this go from our AE system, do a basic import bus. So it doesn't go that fast, so we don't need something super fast. And just wire it in like so. Perfect. It'll suck right out those gold blocks as soon as they're done into our ME system. Awesome. So now we got to worry about, and I'm a little unsure of how I'm going to actually do this. Let's just see here. The gold blocks. Oh, I made a bunch of drives too that we're going to format, but we have one gold block in there. Oh, here's all the others. Did they pop out funny? Or did I pick up that many? I must have already pulled it out. So. How are we going to do this? My favorite way for auto-crafting. Is that what we need to do? Yeah, auto-crafting with these guys. Because it's weird. We can't really use the ME to push into anything. Because the, they have the fuzzy import buses. But we cannot use auto-crafting tables. This is... One way that we do it on the last server is using an auto crafting table. And this, by the way, is, let's look at the recipe. Pretty easy. Wood gears around a crafting table. But this has changed since the ultimate pack. And it's not as fast, which we don't need to be super fast. But if we take out, let's see, let's grab two chest plates. If we had fuzzy export buses sticking into this, put these in that would work but this is not letting me set down stuff I can put in the gold but I can't set that down so that's not gonna work um 
I'm sure there's other mods. I know Turtles would be able to do this to, to fix it. And of course, what we're trying to do is just do this so that we can combine them together. But I think... Oh, geez. What, what did I want to do? Oh, I think there's a block, an MFR for the auto stuff that I came across that was called an auto anvil. Auto anvil. So that's interesting. I think this might work with it. We got to get three different anvils. We have to have a, a full just made one, a slightly damaged, I believe, and a very, oh no, it's changing. All right, so we need three anvils, machine frame, plastic sheets, and a redstone reception coil. Cool. So let me make that and let's see how this thing works. All right, we're back and we have our auto anvil. So this is interesting. It's part of the Mine Factory Reloaded, and it looks like it's exactly what we want. It's got two spots, so hopefully that means putting in the two pieces of armor. I'm sure it could, might also be able to enchant, enchant armor. I don't know. They have an auto enchanter as well. So I, I'm hoping this is it. So it looks like we need to put in some type of liquid, and then we need to put in MJEU or KJ. All right, so that, that seems easy enough. So I got two Tesseracts. Let's put in, let's do an energy. Let's test this out right here first. So we have an energy one. We'll put the machine there and then a liquid Tesseract. So I'm guessing it's the mob juice, the essence. So receive only mob juice. Oh no, let's do it from, yeah, from there. All right, so is it? Yep, it's filling up with essence. Now let's do the energy. Receive only solar flower. And it's getting energy. All right, cool. And then let's put on two fuzzy export buses. So actually we could probably do it with just one. So let's put that there and we can connect this over right to our Mac. And by the way, I increased, did I say that? I increased the size of our Mac here. It's got almost two stacks of the uh, CPU, so it should be crafting a lot faster now, which is something we needed. All right, so we have that. Now let's grab two pieces of, or let's, a great piece of gold armor. We got to have it always match up, though. Hmm. We might have to have, a, if this works, a different one for each piece of armor. But let's try it with a helmet first. All right, so we did the helmet. Is it inserting the helmets? Yep, two helmets. Work energy going up. And what's gonna happen? Awesome, so it fixed it. Now we have to do another, let's do fuzzy export bus to then pull out. Awesome, didn't see if it's pulling it out. Oh, and we gotta tell, do we have to tell it anything? Hmm. Oh, is that we won import bus? That's why. Oh man, it's late. It's late. I mean, I could just do a precision, hopefully, and this will just work. Just because that's what I have on me. Yep, pulled it out. Awesome. Just putting in the next one. And look at that. It's putting on. Now this one, it's taking more work but it's combining armors. One has an enchantment and the other one doesn't. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see what happens. All right. I didn't see if that had an enchantment, the one it pulled out. So I don't know, let's go look in here. Yep, it had the enchantment on it. Now what's interesting though is it's not getting pushed into our little system thing up here which it should based on this guy. So I think we're going to have to put in a fuzzy one if we want enchantments to go on. But for the most part, this seems to be working well. All right, well, that's that's another step done. We needed that. So I think I'm going to have to have a separate auto anvil for each type of armor. So if we're doing all the gold and all of the iron, then we'll need a total of eight. 
eight auto anvils. And it doesn't seem like it takes that much power. So we can probably have it all going off of one liquid tesseract and one energy tesseract. And yeah, that seems to be pretty good. So I'm going to set that up. I'll switch the bus on here. And why don't we meet back and see how things are looking. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We have all the anvils. So I think I'm going to set them one above. So one, two, we'll do four on this side. One will be for gold and then one will be for iron. All right, so that's good. Can knock out this glassy glass. Actually, I'll leave it there for a second. So what I'm going to do is on the inside and bottom, I'm going to do all the ME wires. And from the outside and top, we will do the liquid and the energy. So why don't I do, I'll do the energy. Um, we can do the energy on top. So we'll just go like this and let's grab out our energy conduit wire. So boom, and let's just reverse that. We have to have it two away again so that we can switch this without both switching. All right, so that's gonna do in our energy. Then we said from the back is gonna do the liquid. Let's grab liquid oct. Hopefully, yeah, we have plenty. We have plenty. So let's do our mob essence. Two. All right, good, good, good. All right, so that's good. And then we'll do our energy and I'm gonna do all the tesseracts or excuse me, all of the ME wires. I'm gonna do that off camera because that's gonna take forever. And I know we're already running a little short on time. It goes by so quickly. I know. Um, so uh, let me get that set up for the gold at least and we'll cut back in. Man, oh man, it's getting crowded in here. All right, so cross your fingers, guys. I've got the four of them set up. And by the way, I wanted to point out, I've been, for the longest time, I've been doing this split at 99%. And people were telling me I should, actually, I didn't even realize they had the setting, ignore damage. So I think that's what we want. It should ignore, I don't know if that means ignore if there is damage on it or just ignore a hit bar. So I guess we'll find out. But let's throw on this last little cable. And then on the bottom, we have all basic versus the fuzzy on the side. So let's hook this in. Boom. Let's see what's going on. Is it working? All right, seems to be working. It's getting both the enchanted and non-enchanted and with damage. And some of these are taking a lot of energy. Um, and that's again due to whether they have enchantments and how many of an enchantment they have. Some of them, after a while, they end up stacking up and they're just super expensive. So we may have to use the auto unenchant or I have to look into that. Possibly, we'll see how well this works, but hopefully this one energy tesseract will be good enough for all of it. And then let's see over here, I switch this guy up to also do the fuzzy ignore damage. And I think I have all the armor in there. So I'll flip that switch on. And bam, we have it filling up. Oh, sweet. Oh, wait, hopefully. Oh, no, it's putting the damaged ones in there. So this one we do. Let's flip this back off. This one we do want to have. In fact, no. This one we do want to pay attention to damage. All right, I removed all the ones. The damage changed it, so it's the 99% damage comparison. And it doesn't look like we're getting any. That's a problem. Dang, look at all those enchantments. It kind of feels like it's a waste after spending all this energy. But it's keeping up there. These are all doing exactly what we want. All right, I think it's working. Awesome, so let's flip now this on. Now we don't, I don't really wanna do gold blocks because we're gonna have to, if 
for using gold blocks always, we're going to have to uncraft them. So what can we do to fix that? Um, for that, I think we're going to need, let's see if we have it. Let's get this casting table. Let's find out if the casting table will work. We did that. We made our cast for an ingot. Let's see if this will dump in, if I can get down here. All right, so we have all that set up already for it. Let's throw this on like that. I probably could go and throw that on from the bottom, I'm guessing. All right, just so it's a little bit cleaner. And then over here, let's throw on our pattern. All right, and boom. Is it going to work? It's going. It's hardening hard. Pulled out. Awesome. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. Now we may have to put more of those on there because I don't know if it's going to make the ingots fast enough before this overflows, but I think we should have enough inventory for it. How are these doing? Those are all doing okay. I'm going to hold on to this full armor just because I don't want to have to. I kept on crafting it out of the gold and using up all of our gold. How are we doing over here? Do we have too much stuck in here? Let's see, chest plates and legs we have a lot of. Is it getting rid of those? Are they going into our auto enchanter? Let's see, that one is chest plates. Yep, it's going slowly. They're expensive though. I didn't know haste could go on chest plates. Which is kind of weird. What's going on with these leggings? Oh, maybe because that's already a full one. All right, so maybe we want to change this up because that looks like that's what's holding it up. Is it doing the same thing here? No. All right, I don't know why the full one. It's probably because we put on a full legging there. So that's good to know. That's going to screw up our system whenever there's a full thing in, such as that. All right, so let me see if I can figure that guy out, figure out how to fix that. All right, I made a wireless controller for here just so it would be so much easier. So I think this is finally working. So I have it set at 99% split of this chest plate right here. So for the most part, I think it should work. So check this out. If I throw in a damaged chest plate, it shows up in there. Okay. Now if I throw in a full chest plate, bam, not seeing it go in. But you saw this other one went in. So let's take it out. Still not going in. Still right there. And there's no other ch golden chest plates. As soon as I throw a damaged one in, it's now going in. So hopefully this will work out. And I can just put a little bit damaged in each one instead. So if you guys have a better suggestion of some way I can set this up using ME, let me know in the comments. But I think this is pretty successful. So now we have the gold going. I'll probably do on the other side, I will do the iron. And I'm, I'm really surprised. I really expected that we'd be seeing a lot more iron than this. But it's really not too much. I still want to avoid the leather because we just have no use for that. That's, I'm going to turn that one back on. Avoid all of that junk. Just jams up our system. Now the arrows, at the same time I did the arrow thing and I set it at the 99%. And let's see, where's that one? I did 99% of that one. And it's getting most of them, but we're getting a couple arrows or bows that have it like that. So I'm just going to change that to also ignore damage value and we should see them all void out now yep all gone bye bye why is that leather one going so slow do we have that on ignore nope let's change that to also ignore damage and then it should go just fine just fine awesome so yeah this is all the iron that we've got from all of it i even got diamond 
I don't know how I got that. I didn't even know that could be a rare drop on a skelly. But hey, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain one bit. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, we've got that taken care of, the smeltery. I'll get the other one hooked in off camera. And um, then I think we can start up our system. We've got over nine. We actually have ten different dyes now that we can do into our into our guys making the biofuel. So I'm pretty happy. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully this will be the next and final power flower before it gets online for next time. So anyway, guys, till then, um, I'm going to try and get another episode up. I'm going to get some vanilla up as well this week. Um, I already have recorded some Hermitcraft. Didn't get a chance to get to the single player, but that will come soon after. So I'll try and get another Feed the Beast up probably... Probably either Friday or Saturday. And then I'll have the Hermitcraft Halloween special. Happy Halloween, everybody. On Thursday. That was real fun. Had a bunch of us on the vanilla server doing our thing. The zombie animal apocalypse. So pretty neat. Be sure to check that out. And uh, Minecon this weekend. Super psyched. Um, it's been kind of the reason for lack of episodes just this week been kind of stressful getting ready for that but make sure to follow me on twitter if you're not already just so you can stay in touch with what's going on super excited and if you're going make sure to tweet me when you're there so we can meet up hang out and uh yeah if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you're not already and um i'll see you next time peace out.